Welcome to Matchbox Revival. Today's episode we'll be working on the Vauxhall Victor estate car number 38B. Uh, the paint on this one's pretty chipped. And it's got a little opening door in the back there, back hatch. Um, I don't know if you can pick it up on camera or not, but the two colors are, are very different. This one's very orangey yellow. Um, I'm guessing maybe in the factory they probably pre-sprayed these pieces and then assembled them later at uh, a later date um, so it's gonna be a pretty easy build one rivet and we'll strip it down and paint it everything else looks pretty good on it so I'm trying a little different camera angle today if anybody watched any of my previous videos let me know what you think um, I usually do it from the from the side a bit more this one's straight up above me now um, the rivet post out first there's not much of a post there, so it won't take much to get it loose. So with my precision flat screwdriver, I'm just going to try and pry off that rivet post. Yeah, I knew it would be very easy. So off it comes. You know, the base is uh, in pretty good shape. I may not even touch it. Um, body it's in the green a little bit faded um, I've read some notes on it that said that the uh, the interior when it's put in the sunlight too much it actually fades quite a bit but the underneath color and the top color are, are pretty good so this one looks pretty good um, the glass is also in good shape and it looks like somebody left a hair inside there so that car, I think, was from the Netherlands. Um, and we'll drill down to get that rivet post. Oh, time for some color matching now. Dollar store container. And this white looks like it's pretty empty. So we're going to use some X2, X8, and I might put one or two drops of uh, X6. Um, it's a pretty pale yellow. Let's try this white. Uh, it's empty too. Pretty hard to get uh, supplies these days. That noise in the background, that's my wife doing the vacuuming in the kitchen. The vacuum seems to run a lot in my house. <laughs> okay, so I'm inching up towards it. Um, I've been adding some very light X15 green into it. It's actually amazing how, uh, how green this color really is. Um, the white and yellow seem to be very milky. And in order to get that bright yellow, I had to inch up towards it. So I'm going to continue with that. Here's where I am right now. Uh, if you can see that on camera. So here's where I ended up. Um, right in the corner here. You can see my color. I cleaned the hood nicely and did a paint sample. And I'm real close. So we're going to go with that, cap on, 38B, so I'm going to give everything a good wash, I'm going to give this base a good wash as well and have a look at it, um, I might just have to touch up the, the tow hook on the back, and I think this base is going to be fine, and interior as well, looks great. All right, so now into the paint stripper. So 
So I'll give the glass a little polish now. Um, Q-tips cut in half and into the Dremel. Tighten it down as tight as you can. And a little bit of my plastic polish. So back from the sink and we'll go wipe it down and have a little look at it. Looks pretty good. All right, paint stripper's been in, I don't know, less than an hour and looks like it's uh, done its job. Everything is off inside as well. All right, everything back, all washed up, ready for metal polishing. Only a little bit of paint left there. This is definitely one of my favorite parts of the of the model restoration. That's friends in the background, my wife in the kitchen. Making a quiche today for dinner. Okay, so I just checked the mailbox and we're gonna have a little box opening again in the middle of this video. So this is a package from uh, Black Square Decals. Uh, I buy a lot of stuff off these guys. Um, they do a great job. I've only, uh, I think I've only had one that was, um, that I wasn't happy with. And that would have been the last model I just did. Part of the decal um, was stuck and it wouldn't unrelease in the water. So, it all comes in a nice little envelope like this. And in a package. So these will be for the 25C coming up. I'm going to do an aerial gas tanker. And I have some police decals. And Paradex. Well, and the rare combination for the uh, Pickford van. Be doing that one and a bus and the interstate looking forward to this one and that's for the back of um, one of the campers on tow this will be the next model I do after the uh, 66 Nova build I'll be doing the tanker or the sorry the, the uh, interstate tractor trailer so that's cool and Another new guy I found online that makes stickers. Um, he came pretty fast, so, and I haven't used him before. Here we go. We got some 5A and 5B stickers. Exploration. Um, these here are for the gas pumps. SO gas pumps and BP gas pumps that I'll be restoring in the near future. They're really cool too. And a big day for the mailbox today. And from Santa Monica, California. was purchased on eBay and I'm not sure exactly what it is but I have a reasonably good idea
Holy jumping. And it is an 8D. Oh, it's actually in great shape. Tracks look great. And they're soft. Not all hard and crusty. Beautiful. Great model. Anything else in here? Yep, one more. I think I mentioned before in one of my uh, other videos that the bulldozers were the last of... Oh, this is the uh, major pack. Uh, M1, if I'm not mistaken. I put that section in a nice little bag there. And that hooks right on like that. Oh, that guy's in good shape too. There's two nice new additions to my collection. So everything's shined up. And I'm going to drill and tap that rivet post now. A little brake fluid on the top. Help lubricate it. Everything all primed up. Seems to be something on the hood of that vehicle. A little bumpy. I'm hoping I'll be able to sand it off. Okay, so I'm going to lay down some of that uh, nice pale yellow I have there. Thinned it out about So I took everything out of the toaster oven, 150 degrees Fahrenheit for about 12 minutes and it came up real nice. Um, now it's time for assembly. Um, I did take the base apart. I wasn't happy with it after looking at it closely. Um, there was some paint chips. Um, around the wheel wells and that and just didn't look great. So anyhow uh, time to put it all together. So we'll start with the base and we'll Pick the good side of the wheels Not a lot of axle on these ones. And the drill method. So I popped the glass in with the hatch that uh, snapped right back into place nicely. Uh, interior now. There's a slot on the interior for the um, the hitch to go through that has to sit through the back like so and then that slot where the hitch goes through all right next up 66 nova invitational build three blind mice and this one will go into the cabinet Here's a picture of an early 1960s estate car. And there you have it, the 38B Vauxhall estate car. 
Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.